this is about this traverse y'all and of course this channel i don't know you probably wonder what this channel is about this channel is about me and if you um i'm gonna tell you i'm complaining about this car if you don't want to hear about the chevy traverse complaint you can move on but for all those people who want to know about chevy traverse complaint we're gonna break it down i'm gonna talk to you while i wash this car all right so we got this beautiful chevy traverse and uh it served us well ran very nicely just the common problems i guess chevy traverses have and then the the car shuts off in the middle of the road we had to pull on over got the car towed to a chevy dealership this is very important for all you Richmond Virginianers. Got the car towed to a Chevy dealership. I repeat, got the car towed to the Chevy dealership in. So they tell us, or tell my wife rather, who's a female. Oh yeah, what we can do is you need an alternator and a battery. And we can change your alternator and battery for a mere $1,600. This was told to us by Chevy dealership. You know I'm gonna leave the address at the bottom of the screen now. This was told to us by a Chevy dealership $1,600 we will put on the battery in the alternator. I tell the man, the battery is brand new, sir. Just got the battery. And we're not gonna have you do it. Please put the car back together so I can come and get it. I drove it there, I wanna be able to drive it away. Oh, we don't know if it's gonna start. So I tell him, it better start. I will see you at 5.30. I figured you'd be calling Mr. Taylor, is what he says. I figured you'd call. So, um, I don't know if it'll start. Well, I'll see you at 5.30, I tell the man. Goodbye. I get up to Chevy dealership. And guess what? Miraculously, the car is starting. I guess the same, just as miraculous as when I arrive. So this is important because come to find out the car will run for 20 minutes. I don't know why 20 minutes. It was, it was just running for 20 minutes and then that's when it died. He had a 20 minute window. Okay, get the car back. Take it to my mechanic, one that I trust, not a Chevy dealership. He says, the battery's fine. I think the battery's fine, but we'll change the alternator. Obviously, for way cheaper than 1600 bucks. All right, so we get the car back and we get the brand new, get the brand new alternator put in from In-N-Out Auto. I love those guys fantastic if you ever have any problems go to those guys they will take care of you and the reason why in and out auto didn't couldn't figure out the problem because the problem is electrical so it's kind of like um i'm ruining the story before we begin so this is a complaint y'all i'm complaining in this video but this video this channel is about my life so, if you're here, enjoy it. If not, I'm sorry. All right, so, boom. in and out Auto, fantastic people. Change my alternator, and I take the battery back up to um, AutoZone. And it's a diehard battery. I think it was AutoZone. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. It's going to be Advanced or AutoZone. 
and they say, well, the battery's fine. But remember, Chevy, Chevy dealership in told me I needed a new one. So I'm fussing with the auto supply dealer because I can't remember the name at the time of this video. I'm fussing with them telling them that Chevy told me it was bad. They're telling me, oh no, it's fine. He said, because you're a nice guy, I'll exchange the battery for you again under your warranty, but your battery is fine, sir. So we exchanged the brand new battery that was fine for a brand new battery that is fine. All from, because Chevy dealership told me I needed a new battery and I needed a new alternator for 1600 bucks and it was gonna fix the problem. In and out auto gave me a nice fair deal and changed those parts for about 400 bucks. Or, well, not the battery, because the battery was fine. Okay. So now we're driving the car and guess what? It happens again. So Chevy dealership, the ones who diagnosed it, Chevy dealership, so it happens again. And Chevy dealership, the ones who diagnosed it, said, oh, you need an alternator and a battery. So we got it fixed and it's still happening. So Chevy was wrong. Called them back, they had an attitude, pretended it was the other mechanic. Like everybody can't put on a alternator and a battery, but not for 1600 bucks. Ridiculous. So because I argued and I fussed with these guys, I decided to go to, again, let's repeat. The brand new battery and the brand new alternator did not work because it was already a new battery. But Chevy wanted me to believe it wasn't. This is the dealership now. This is the dealership. All right, so get to the dealership. Oh, I'm getting ahead of, ahead of myself. I decided I decided we're gonna call. You can get in here. I decided we're gonna call the other dealership. And I'm gonna handle it because I'm a man. You gotta get the sponge, the, a different sponge. I'm gonna handle it because I'm the man of the house. Go to Chevy on Richmond. Of course, the address will be at the bottom of the screen, so there's no confusion. Parks Chevrolet, right? This is their car. Chevy makes the Chevy Traverse. I know this is all, should be common knowledge, and I'm trying to be sarcastic. So we get down there. We tell them, all right, we found out. So we explain to them what's going on. Check engine light will not stay on but the car is not working right. Can you check it? Park Chevrolet, take the car. So, oh yeah, we're gonna check it for you. It's gonna be fine. They check it and they say, oh, there's nothing wrong with the car. The car wouldn't, the car would not act up in our presence. You need to come and get it or we're gonna start charging you. I'm thinking to myself, I came there so you can fix it and charge me. Well, all of our tests, we run out of gas. You need to come get it before we start charging you. So we go get the car and drive home. <laughs> drive home now. Car still broken. Second Chevy dealership. I know a lot of y'all gonna give Chevy a pass. But hopefully you thinking people will be able to understand that this is their car and they should have been able to fix it. So my neighbor sees our struggle 
He says, oh, I know the backyard mechanic who can fix that. Take it to the backyard mechanic. He's done more work to the car than Chevy ever even thought about doing. Come to find out, it's a bad fuse block, which was dripping water on it. This is somebody who works out the backyard now, a little hole in the wall. Sleeps in the car now. <laughs> He's got all the tools to check it. He's got the machinery to check it. Wow. There is no check engine light showing. He's finding out these problems. So he finds out that um, the, car, the, the computer's not reading X, Y, and Z, yada, yada, yada. All that Chevy dealership talk that Chevy should have understood and known because it's their car. Not one Chevy dealership, two Chevy dealerships two different Chevy dealerships. Didn't want to work on their Chevy Traverse. On their Chevy Traverse. I know y'all gonna, who, you know, for you guys who give Chevy a pass, I, you know, I feel bad for you. I feel bad that you don't understand that some things you're supposed to do. If you're a plumber, you're supposed to fix plumbing, right? I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna keep washing. Hopefully you're still there. Get it to Chevy. They're like, nah, you need to come get it. We don't want to work on it, basically, because it's too complicated for us, and we ain't got time. We don't have time to fix it, okay? So they don't have time to fix it for whatever reason that they're deciding. So my guy is working on it. He tells me, he sends me back up to Chevy dealership to pick up a computer, to pick up a fuse block for the inside of the car because water's been dripping inside onto the inside fuse block. She's spraying water on my back. But anyway, and we pick up those parts and he puts them on. Come to find out that Chevy's the only one that has to program the computer. I see the guy while I'm there at Chevy. He's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. I'm telling him what's going on. He's like, well, good luck. <laughs> all right. So I bring the. So now my guy puts on all the parts in the pieces. We got all the parts in the pieces on. Chevy has to program the computer. Take it up to Chevy. I call Chevy and tell him. Everything that I've been going through, this guy's got a major attitude with me. He's trying to be nice, but he's got an attitude. I know it. He's saying, well, when you bring it back, this is Chevy again. We're back at Chevy because we need them to program the computer. The Chevy dealership guy says, we're not doing nothing but programming it. Because your guy, since he knows so much, he should have been able to find the issue. I felt like I was talking to a wall. I'm like, that is the issue. Are, are you gonna program the computer? Yeah, we'll program it, but that's all we're doing. So I'm trying to be nice and I ask him, after you program it, can you let the car run and test it? Well, I might be able to let it run and test it. That way they won't start charging you. You numbskull. I'm here to be charged and pay for work. Are you an idiot? Are you a moron? Like I came in to get something for free. You think I ain't got no money? Come on, man. So take the car back. What? Take the car to him. Drop it off. He's like, well, again, that's all we're doing. I'm like, dude, just program it. And if you can let it run, over 20 minutes that'd be fine he programs it calls me back keep in mind I dropped it off on Monday they didn't program it until Friday Tuesday I'm sorry I dropped it off on Tuesday they didn't program it until Friday I guess they were busy I don't know go back and pick it up on Friday he tells me um well, good luck. I hope everything works out for you. 
So I brought a Chevy Traverse to you, 2012. You work on it. I'm going to pay you to work on it. And after you work on it, you tell me good luck and you hope everything works out for me. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. You've been around long enough. I appreciate you watching. Chime in. Tell me what you think about these people. Tell me what you think about Chevy. At this point, I'm telling you, I'm very disappointed. Um, it, it's sad because you want to buy American. But here's what's so crazy. We got, I won't show you. Yeah, you know what? I will show you. Here's what's so sad. Here's what's so sad. This is what's extremely sad. This is, ex you want to buy American, but you can't buy American because you have a 2012, I'm sorry, 2006 Honda Accord with 300,000 miles that drives, I will put this car up against any, any, car and I will promise you it's a V6 stick shift I'm pretty proud of it I know you're gonna knock it oh yeah follow that channel too if you get a chance V6 man then of course here's another old faithful Toyota faithful Toyota no problems at all and I can't even get two Chevy dealerships, two Chevy dealerships to fix their vehicle. All right, guys, I hope to catch you on the next video. Chime in, tell me what you think. Sorry if I hurt y'all feelings, but man, something's got to give. Come on, Chevy. Peace. Y'all take care. You know how to watch that? You missing some spots up there.